Utamaro started to apprentice when still a child, and as a result, published his first drawing at age 17. He was able to support himself and his wife as an illustrator for popular literature. There was steady work from his publishers for over two decades, and as he approached the age of 40, perhaps he experienced a midlife crisis, for at the age of 38, he decided to distance himself from the trend of depicting women in groups, and devoted himself full-time to single portraits of women in half-length, bringing exquisite details of the fashions of the day closer to the eyes of the viewer. His hard work and the risk he took paid off, and at the age of 40, he finally became a famous artist for his woodblock prints of beauties from Yoshiwara, one of the official red-light districts of Tokyo. He also produced shunga, or erotica, which were acceptable in Japanese culture. What was not acceptable, however, was any image that might tarnish any figure, living or dead, who was a part of or connected to the ruling shogunate. Unfortunately, Utamaro crossed that line more than once in the opinion of the official censors, and he and some of his colleagues were made examples of, first being jailed and then put in manacles for 50 days. This harsh punishment was to be the ruin of his health, and he would die at the age of 53, having enjoyed only just over a dozen years of fame. Utamaro's prints are still hand-printed one color at a time by master printers off of carvings by master carvers to this day, and the fashions he captured for thousands to enjoy have now been enjoyed by millions of people all over the world and recreated by lovers of ancient fashions that have never gone out of style. Paradise Bound dot C.A.